beautiful thing about the show is there are straight people, there are gay people, men, women, everybody, different ages. And because of the nature of the material, you're, you had to sort of leave your good manners at home because you had to talk in a certain way, deal with certain situations that we were portraying on screen, and you could not, you know, it wasn't Downton Abbey, what can I say? So <laughs> we found ourselves at the beginning trying to still be very polite and not use words like that, especially in front of women and straight people, and we, you know, we're self-conscious. Everybody was very self-conscious. The staff. At and the beginning you. is, I think, what was going on, including doing the sex scenes, which we'll talk about later and how we did them. But we'd have these meetings um, in an office and we'd be talking about the script and what had to, what we had to shoot and what they were saying. And little by little, you start loosening up and you start talking in a way you've never heard yourself talk before. This happened in the writer's room too, which became, you know, sort of like a group therapy session. It, it did, it opened us up in an amazing ways that we never expected or knew because you were writing a show that was so extreme. You couldn't hold on to your manners after a while. You had to give yourself over to what it was, to what it was about. So I will tell the gross story. I've been given that assignment <laughs> by the boss. Anyway, there was a scene where we needed a lot of dildos. It was a scene, I imagine people are turning this off already, right? They're not even going to hear the rest of what I'm saying. So I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it was a scene when Ted, the character who overdosed on drugs, was in a coma. They thought he was going to die, and his mother was going to go to his apartment to clean out his apartment because they said he's in a coma and he's never going to wake up. So she went to his, oh no no she went to his apartment to get him pajamas because she refused to believe he was going. No no they haven't right? they didn't no no what happened was they said his mother's going to come. Uh, it was Michael and 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 Emmett who said we have to get there first and get all of his porn because it was into porn. Get his all porn, the all stuff of his, out of right, the drawer before the mother comes. Before the mother arrives because you know she doesn't know he's gay or even if she did you don't want to go through your son's drawers and find the stuff that's in his drawers. Uh, so. We had to go out and buy. We had to go to that. We had to send one of our, <laughs> our little, little office the staff. One of this, an intern who's probably twenty years old. Why well, don't so you're gonna have to go to a sex shop in Toronto? And apparently, Toronto is the world sex capital of the world. Really, the sex, sex shop capital. center of the world. It, it, Who it, knew? It is. It's like the sex uh, capital like, of the world. Anyway, you got to go to one of these shops, and you got to. Go buy us a whole bunch of dildos and then bring them back. And we're gonna they set direct decorate. We're gonna have to decide what to put in the drawer. So she takes a pillowcase, exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and comes back with like thirty dildos, <laughs> all shapes and sizes, they, colors. They lit the up. Thing. They spun. They shined in the dark. I mean, these th you couldn't even right. believe. Walked across the room. I mean, they did everything. It's like who knew these. Th Anyway, she takes the pillowcase and dumps it, and they fly all over the floor. So we're in there with the actors and the producers and the right, and we're all playing with this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this one. You know, we're, we're saying, do you realize what we're doing? We're making a television show, and we're sitting on the floor with this pile of dildos. And there was a huge dildo and that you could stick on a suction cup. A suction cup. And I stuck it to the wall, and while we're talking, it falls and smashes the fax it machine. It breaks the fax machine. Under, it, that's the way, you know, 10 pounds, and it had this little suction. It wasn't good. Falls on the, on the fax machine and breaks it. So they had to get a new fax machine, and they <laughs> put up a sign over the fax machine that was there for the rest of the series that said something like, uh, no dildos within 10 feet. This means you, Dan. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's right. I was forbidden but, to go to the fax machine. <laughs> this, but, but the beautiful thing, even though the story is gross and silly. But the beautiful thing about it was it freed us all to be very open about ourselves, not just the way we talk, but about what we shared with each other. And not sex stories, but just... And took the taboo <clears throat> off of it. 
which was very yeah. important. And all of a sudden, we could say things that we were never allowed to say and express things we never could say, and, and certainly never in front of women or straight guys or anything, and for them, too. But it freed us all the to, to be very The inhibitions just sort of melted open. away. We all were laughing, having a great time, and, it, and that's how the rest of the show was. And it was great therapy, in a way, because you got to just let all that stuff yeah. go in a safe place where you wouldn't be judged. Um, and only we knew, and the hard part was going back to the real world, because <laughs> you like at a... Like at the airport. Part, like at the airport, and you would, for, right. it would, you would forget, you know, okay, Dan, we're not in the office anymore. Yeah, we're not now we're in the real world. We can't talk that way. We right. can't express ourselves that way, even to friends. Uh, so it, it was it really Cause you're in interesting that world, things and to your head. Yeah. And that had nothing to do with what you were seeing on right. screen. That was what was going on for all of us behind the camera. Right. 